Item number SCP-1029 Object Class Safe Special Containment Procedures Three copies of SCP-1029 are currently stored on standard CDR media in the secure sections of Foundation Libraries at sites Beep, Beep and Beep. Access is permitted only for authorized research into the cause of its effect. Description SCP-1029 is a 683 by 1024 pixel XFJPEG image file with MD5 checksum BBB 61A 10333967E 337E1C691BD1C860FE. One 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 it depicts a stalk of purple flowers of the species Hyacinthus orientalis. When displayed full size on the computer monitor and the surface of the screen is gently rubbed with a finger, skin proximity appears to be necessary to trigger a reaction. The flower's distinctive fragrance is released in the manner of a scratch and sniff card. Ear samples taken while rubbing SCP-1029 induced a perception of the same flow scent when later sniffed by test subjects, suggesting that SCP-1029 has a definite physical rather than purely mental effect. Chemical analysis of air samples is in progress. For the image's unusual response to occur, pixel-for-pixel -pixel reproduction of SCP-1029 appears to be necessary, along with the color rendition capable of differentiating all the color values present within the image. While most CRT monitors are capable of showing the effect with no specific adjustment, many low-end LCD and most panels older than beep years have failed to yield a detectable smell. It should, however, be noted that SCP-1029's odor does not vary in strength depending on image quality. It is simply not produced at all if the image was not reproduced with certain parameters. Reducing the image's color depth, rescaling it to a smaller size, or applying any lossy image processing or editing procedure, including JPEG recompression, have been found to produce an image which does not display SCP-1029's anomalous effects. Lossless rotation by a multiple of 90 degrees, lossless conversion to PNG or TIFF format, and cropping of up to beep pixels of the right edge or pixels of any other edge of SCP-1029 have been found not to affect the image's property. Uncorrupted digital copies of the file in any form or medium appear to retain the properties of SCP-1029, and since all such copies are SCP-1029. SCP-1029 was discovered by Agent Beep on the web image gallery at URL Data Expunge on Beep while browsing using a touchscreen computer. Agent Beep noticed the image's reaction to being rubbed and saved a copy for further study. The full size original image file, 4752 by 3168 resolution, produced by a Beep 500 Beep camera, according to its EXIF metadata, has also been downloaded from the same site and does not seem to exhibit the same property as SCP-1029. Thumbnails and other derived images on the same site are also similarly lacking in SCP-1029's effect. Researcher Beep has been tasked with attempting to discover a suitable combination of software and settings which, when applied to this full-sized image, reproduce SCP-1029. Agent Beep has been tasked with cracking into the web server, ascertaining the extent of distribution of SCP-1029 and removing SCP-1029 from public viewing. The file is to be replaced with a recompressed version of SCP-1029 verified not to exhibit any unusual effect. Any locked accesses to SCP-1029's URL are to be traced and contained. The website is to be monitored for any reappearance of SCP-1029. 
A tandem. While output from inkjet and laser printers, even when carefully calibrated and apparently meeting SCP 1029's criteria, do not display any response to rubbing, diacepnation prints of SCP 1029 has been found to produce frequency with little tweaking required. It has been suggested that this is due to the dithering or dottiness of inkjet and laser print versus the continuous tone output of the disublimation process. Addendum A correlation between sweat on the skin and other various intensity has been observed. Dr. Beep triggered SCP-1029's effect with an unusually sweaty finger shortly after an episode of strenuous exercise in the gym. The smell was later described as overpowering. This suggests a phenomenon in which sweat, or some compound thereof, is being converted to specific odor molecules. Investigation into this process is ongoing.